Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to take you through a continuation of Zelly's famous How the Fuck Do I Start This Thing series from the A10, and I'm going to start with the Huey, since it's one of the relatively easier startups to do in DCS. And what it's going to do is take you through the entire startup procedure in less than five minutes, and I'm going to ex explain everything that I do and why you do it. So you, you get a feel for not only the startup, but what things actually do in the cockpit, which is really, really helpful, in my opinion. It's nice to know the sequence, but when you understand what's going on, it gives you a whole new depth of knowledge into the simulation. So, with that, let's begin. The first thing you're going to do in the Huey is, is turn on your battery on the top overhead panel here. You'll get this nice, lovely warning tone. That is your low RPM tone. So you go ahead and flick that off. It's right next to your fuel pump switch. Next thing we're going to do, if you didn't have it already on, is we're going to put our governor to auto. We're going to turn on our fuel pumps, and you'll hear those hum to life. Now let's just recap what we did so far. Battery on, provided power to the aircraft from the batteries. We turned off the low RPM tone, so it didn't annoy us to hell when we start up the aircraft. That's usually reserved for emergencies only, or when you're overstressing the aircraft in normal flight. From then, we turned on this red triangle switch, the governor, to auto. That governs the speed of the engine as best as a computer can. Then we turned on our fuel pump, which provides fuel to the engine. From there, we can turn on our hydraulic controls. This allows us to actually control the aircraft. There's no physical linkage between the control stick in the Huey and the controls out on the, and the rotors and the collective and all that jazz. So the, uh, the swash plate, which is the plate that connects the, um, the rotor assembly, which you can see sort of moving now. That's all hydraulically controlled. So if we don't have that, we don't have control. Next, we're going to turn on our force trimmer, which allows us to essentially recenter the stick so we can do less work of pushing the stick forward in level flight and more work of just little returned controlled movements to center. There's an aircraft coming down, so I'm going to close the doors with the right control C. Get it nice and quiet in here. From here, what you want to do is make sure that your generator switch cover is open and it's set to off. We don't want to be powering all our systems while we're trying to start the aircraft, or else we won't have enough power to actually start the thing. Then put your starter gen to start. Your voltmeter can be set to main gen. The, the startup sequence says put it to essential bus, but if you don't need to monitor your voltmeter, which most people don't really want to, you don't have to have it. And then I put my AC power to AC phase. So from here, what we do is we press and hold either the home key on your keyboard by default to initiate the starter, or if you have it bound, you can press that. I'm going to go ahead and press my uh, home key for simplicity's sake. Oh, hello, plane. Nice to see you. So the gauge that we want to watch during the startup sequence is the gas producer gauge right here. And we want to let it get to 40. We have to crack open the throttle a little bit with page up. And if you press and hold page up, you'll get your throttle all the way up, and you can start right away. Once the gas producer gauge gets to 40%, you can just let go on the home key. You'll see your rotor and engine RPMs rise and settle into the green.
And of course, before all this happens, you need to make sure that your collective is all the way down. You don't want to be flying off as soon as your engine started. So now you can go ahead and make sure your throttle is, in fact, all the way up. You turn it counterclockwise to increase the throttle, as you can see by the uh, lettering written on it. And if we look at our master caution, we have our instrument inverter and our DC generator still not online. So all we have to do is turn our starter gen to start by, inverter to on main, and main generator to on. This provides power to the rest of your systems, both the radar altimeter, the uh, ADF, anything that you can really think of. All the radios, all the weapon systems, all that needs power. And the way it gets it is from inverting it from uh, your engine power from AC to DC current. And you need to generate that power from the main generator and you can go ahead and close that switch cover. So that's the Huey. Pretty easy, pretty simple, rugged, reliable, and effective. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.